Hey guys, it's Techno Relief here. Today I'm going to show you what everybody wants. Upgrade to Mac 10.6 or 10.7 if it's out already. Upgrade to that software for free completely from any other software. So any other uh, 10.5, 4, 3. And as you can see, I have 10.6. And it was amazing. The first time it had worked and I got the App Store and all this stuff. Apps and from the app store, I was just so happy. So I'm glad I can share it with you guys. So first thing you'll need is an eight or more gigabyte flash drive. If it's more, then I'll show you what to do. But if it's eight, that's perfect. So open up Disk Utility. You can search it, or you can find it in your utilities and applications. But I'll just search it. <coughs> now you should have your 16 gigabyte or eight gigabyte or whatever it is flash drive and then underneath it, of it, your drive. Now, this is going to erase everything on that drive, so make sure you back it up. So put it on your computer and then put it back on. So now you click Partition, and then click Two Partitions. Name this one your flash drive, or whatever you want to call it, and then this is your Mac install drive. So now you have these two here, but this one should be 7.3. Now your flash drive is a little bigger. That's pretty good. And so now you click apply. And if you, after you click apply, your old drive is going to be erased. So really back it up. I encourage you to back it up. Now you click apply. And it's got these two here. You've got these two drives. Flash drive, you just leave alone. You can insert all your backed up files in it now. But. This is this next step is going to take a while. Um, you click on, you keep the source empty for now, but you drag in install drive right there, your install drive, and then you download this torrent, which it looks like I'm uploading now. You download the torrent, which is in the description, and drag in and then mount it so it looks like one of these guys, and then drag that right in there. It should look something like this. This name would be different because it's what I named the tour. Then you click Restore. And then make sure this is in the install drive. And you click Restore. This will take a while. The downloading and the restoring. And then you should come up with this. At first the X will be there. And then you upload upgrade, upgrade to Snow Leopard. It won't be there anymore. But that is your install drive. Now you <clears throat> follow the next steps don't you don't double click on this follow the next steps that I'm about to tell you okay so when you hear the on sound hold alt and then you should be able to choose make sure you choose the install drive which is the orange one okay so this Apple logo is actually going to be here for a while so just wait there a second and then I just fast forwarded it now You'll get to a blue screen, and then you'll choose your language, and continue with the installation. Okay, so now make sure you choose Macintosh HD, and just, you're going to have to wait a long time, so go do something else, and wait. Okay, so you just restarted your computer, and you should get the setup assistant, and this little video. Uh, it's the same as Leopard, I don't know why they didn't change it, they should have. And you just, you can either close it, or just wait until it finishes, and then... Well, I just wait. And then you'll get a thank you. There you go, thank you. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. If you're in the future, this will also work for Mac 10.7. So just look forward to that. So thanks guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, have a good day and congratulations on your new snow leopard.